Normal airway breathing requires a smooth unobstructed tracheal passageway. There should not be any areas of narrowing in the windpipe. Unfortunately, in rare situations, inflammation and scarring leads to a localized constriction typically at the level of the cricoid cartilage which is found just below the vocal cords. When the windpipe is examined using a flexible endoscope or rigid bronchoscope, a wide open airway should be present. Here is what normal should look like. Note how large the airway opening is. Now take a look at how narrow the airway is with a subglottic stenosis. With a constricted windpipe, symptoms of shortness of breath and noisy breathing will be present that is not responsive to any medications. One way to treat subglottic stenosis is to insert a balloon into the stenosis, and inflating the balloon thereby stretching the small opening much larger. Steroid injections into the subglottic stenosis can also be performed either awake or under sedation. A laser can be used to make small cuts around the stenosis to make it larger as well. After surgical treatment, a sponge soaked with an azuridine compound like mitomycin C, can be applied to the wound to help reduce risk of recurrence. More aggressive surgical options are also available including cricotracheal resection or cricoid split, to ultimately achieve a much larger airway opening.